Hi everyone and welcome back. It's been a long time, but today I'm going to show you how to model this iconic chair here using different add-on like uh, Ardops Machine 3 tools and some add-on I've made to uh, project your UV and to select object and manage all the property of it. So let's start for the moment with the plane and the CADs like so. So you have the reference here and we're going to switch to solid mode. So let's start with the front view. We're going to add a vertice here. Enter in edit mode. And you're going to try to redraw uh, the back of the chair with uh, an extrusion like so. And you have to imagine that your point are kind of um, busy handle. Because later we're going to add um, a subdivide modifier. Okay. And try to be uh, aligned with the point at the top, but you can select this two point here with alt machine machine 3 tools, you can align on the left, okay? And now you can close with F, 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 and F. Okay, you got your um, surface now, and we're gonna cut with K and X every part we need, sorry. Like so, okay. And we're going to make something more regular. Okay. GG. Okay. And now we're going to add a mirror modifier with the help of Ardops. Sorry. Like so. Okay. And now you can add a subdivide surface. Just a little check regarding the shape. G. Yeah, I think it's okay on this one. Maybe like so. Okay. So now you can apply the modifier here and we are going to uh, switch to the side view, sorry, and we are going to align our shape like so. You got to uh, deform your surface, so with the help of model lattice resolution, alt L and control scroll, you're going to add some point here. Uh, if you go here, you can see you are in linear mode, so come back to the model mode with L and you can hit B and it will switch uh, all parameters here to something more um, soft regarding your deformation. All right, something like so. And now you're gonna apply the, uh, the lattice, okay? And with our dobs, we're gonna add uh, solidify like so. So let's take a look at the seat now. We're going to add a plane. Okay, you can scale it like so. And we are going to select everything, add some loop cut. And then we're going to use here the loop tool to make a circle. Okay. I'm going to scale it and we're going to do the same for this point here. Cycle. All right. And do something like this. Make a shit smooth. Okay. Go to side view, G. And. Okay. Now we're going to extrude this part here okay and we're gonna add uh, a subdivision like so go to front view and you can maybe correct something here like so yeah you can add a solidify okay and with this cue you're gonna sharpen the edge here and just be sure to unmark this one. Okay. So let's start the back legs. Go to side view. We're going to add here a point and we're going to extrude it like so. And you are going to just draw roughly the shape as usual. Okay, you can align can select everything, F and K. 
okay. All right. Now, just move and extrude the face. Okay. We're going to add here a bevel. So anyway, if you have something like this and you're not happy with it, if you have mesh machine, you can just unbevel. So that's a good thing. Let's come back and we are going to select these parts and we are going to bevel another one and make a little one here. Okay. All right. And now you can add a mirror. Like so. Okay. Now let's take a look at the front leg. We're going to add a vertice. You're going to extrude. E -E. Just be sure to be in the middle of the pipe, like so, and then you can bevel the point and you can convert it to a curve. So now you can give a thickness to it. Okay. Give it a shade smooth. Yeah, maybe it's too thick. 1.2 seems to be cool. And you're going to make a mirror with it. Go back to front view, engine, and then. So here maybe we're going to scale next. All right. All right, to finish our legs, as you can see here, you got some uh, pads to add more detail. So we are going to duplicate Shift D, escape, and we're going to apply to make just uh, two meshes. We're going to join it, Ctrl J. You go to side view, and we are going to use the knife tool here from box cutter. All right, isolate. As you can see, we've got loop cuts everywhere. And let's delete, sorry, escape from box cutter, X vertice, Q, uh, a solidify modifier, like so. If you hit Q and sharpen, it will uh, keep some. Uh, some edge straight, same thing here, Q, sharpen, all right. And, oh yeah, maybe you have the wrong direction here. So you have to just uh, switch the normal, flip. Okay, and Q, mark. Select Q, mark. All right. Okay, so the last part is this screw here. We're gonna add uh, quad sphere from mesh machine with three sub dive. So scale it. Okay, it's late and we're gonna cap the hole. I'm gonna scale in Z. All right, and just make a little bevel here. All right. And we're going to do the holes. Align and just add two sub dives and it's okay. Come back here, maybe it's too big for now. Be sure to enable the surface snapping. So G. Okay. Alt D. Okay, and just mirror it. And uh, okay, I think 
everything is okay. So here is the funniest part, texturing, okay. So we're gonna just make uh, one texture, material UV, uh, take this one, and just, uh, you can project from view with a quick UV Pro, okay. Here, you can pick the material like so, and you're gonna project from view like so, okay. So now we are going to make, just apply here the solidify, we're gonna duplicate. Uh, apply the solidify here too, apply and just be sure to sharpen, okay, sharpen, select the edge and just unmark it like so, do the same thing here, unmark and unmark this one too, alright, so now you can select this one and here you can add another texture take this one and if you want to follow the curvature of your uh, mesh uh, just straight unwrap and boom here we go same thing here we can add a material slot here and we're gonna pick Chamboulou 3 and assign okay and then straight unwrap okay now we're gonna add some material for the legs here. Okay. Okay, just add, uh, would be a cube projection. Oh, sorry, it, it has to be a mesh, so convert the cube projection. All right. And for the pads, we're gonna just create a new material here. Okay, and just add a black one, so yeah, last piece is this one, uh, chromium is okay, just delete the subdivision, sorry, and we're gonna select more loop. And we're going to add the rubber material and assign. Okay, so let's go to render mode. I think it's quite uh, good for now. So let's see how to improve this material here. We're going to pick the material from this one. So old age wood node, okay. So if you go here, you can check for old. Okay, this one. And for this one, we do the same. Okay, and as you can see, this is more efficient as uh, you have some scratches here. Let's see what's happened. You got the AO from the scratch. I like to add some metallicness in the wood. Don't ask me why. Just because sometimes yeah, the wood has some yeah metallic reflection. Okay. And you can handle the, the texture of the edge here. More opacity or less. You can increase the size. Okay. And the same for the patina here. Okay. Don't make so something too obvious okay and um, yeah I would like to introduce something with the, the end panel uh, this is this little add-on and little button here and when you click on it it allows you just to show the end panel when you are in the, this region and this one too so just let me know if you think uh, it can be useful for you so time has come to set your camera and the lights for your rendering uh, as you can see, I got uh, three lights here. Uh, with Adam the Fly, you can turn on if you select this one and this one with Alt. It patch everything, okay. And you can either change here the light temperature thanks to a photographer, okay.
Okay. So let's uh, add a camera. You can put this one. All right, and maybe you can change the focal here. All right. And now if you want to add some uh, depth of field, just enable this button here, you can show the focus plane and just decrease. Yeah, it will focus on the section between the plane and your object. Okay. Yeah, I think it's quite cool. And um, the last thing we can add now is uh, some uh, uh, post effects. I'm working with K-Cycle here. So you can add some bloom and maybe some uh, yeah, acrobatic aberration point two. So I think it's all for today. I hope you're going to find it useful for your own workflow. Uh, don't hesitate to like the video and subscribe if you can. It will help me and encourage me to do a more stuff like this. So have a good day. Bye.